Hi Dr. Friends, welcome to my YouTube channel PG Dr. Sindranju. Today's topic is about morphology of RBC in peripheral blood smear. Before starting, a special thanks to you and also a special thanks goes to Dr. Ayush Sodhi. He comments, excellent sir, hematology ki video or banal. Hi Dr. Ayush, how are you? Oh sorry for derailed from my topic. Let us start. Morphology in RBC morphology in peripheral blood smear. Start with polychromasia. Polychromasia, here the RBC lacking central pallor and large bluish in color due to residual RNA or ribosome, also called polychromatophilia. And Jimsa stain or supravital stain are used for staining of the RBC in polychromasia. And uh, cause of such is the increased erythropoiety and hemolytic anemia and bone marrow carcinoma. Bone marrow carcinoma may be self or metastatic. This is the diagrammatic representation of polychromasia. In that case, the RBC shown here are central pallor are present in all the cases, but some RBC there is lacking of the central pallor like that 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 this is the image of polychromasia next is pepenhammer bodies it is abnormal basophilic granules granules aggregates of ribosome ferritin mitochondria and the phagosome having aggregate of the ferritin found inside RBC. The Pepenhammer containing RBC is called siderocyte and the single or multiple blue small angular inclusion are present in such case and Ramnovsky stain are used to detect Pepenhammer bodies and this is seen in post splenectomy mostly and sideroblastic anemia, megaloblastic anemia, MDS, hemolytic anemia, lead poisoning and sickle cell anemia. And the Pepenhammer bodies, here the angular, I have told that the angular inclusion is present in the Pepenhammer body, while that in the whole jolly bodies, the single large round inclusion are present and it is distinguished from basophilic stipli and it absent with pearly acid ferrocyanide stain. Here I have already told that here the single or multiple angular inclusion are present here image showing that this is the Pappenhammer bodies their single or multiple angular inclusions are present so you have to remember that the here the basophilic granules are of the aggregate of ribosome ferritin and mitochondria next one is about the basophilic stippling the basophilic stippling here or also known as the punctate basophilia it is a small numerous and bluish dot present in the rbc this dot are clustered polyribosome 
or basophilic granules in the RBC. It indicates disturbed erythropoiesis and seen in chronic lead poisoning. And here the chronic lead poisoning that means the lead inhibits pyrimidine 5 nucleotides and also seen in the hemolytic anemia, megaloblastic anemia. Here the image showing you that the basophilic stippling. This image showing you the basophilic stippling. Here you can easily see that here the polyribosomes are present which indicates the basophilic stippling. Next is whole jolly body. Whole jolly body. It is cytopathological condition in which few purplish inclusion in the RBC or basophilic nuclear remnant. Nuclear remnant indicates cluster of the DNA or chromatin present in the RBC and this RBC is of late erythroblast phase of RBC formation and this is seen in the post splenectomy heterotaxy syndrome or congenital absence of spleen severe hemolytic anemia hodgkin's lymphoma hodgkin's lymphoma where the radiation therapy is used for the treatment of hodgkin's lymphoma that condition and mds amyloidosis and hereditary spherocytosis and the image showing you that the hovel jolly body here these types of dot are present this is the image of oval jolly body next is the hinge bodies hinge bodies are aggregate of denatured hemoglobin or grayish round inclusion within the rbc the stain used for such is the supravital stain and due to oxidant damage by administration of drug or mutation and seen in G6PD deficiency, NADPH deficiency, alpha thalassemia and the drug and the drug that form the hinge body are sulfonamide and the image showing you here the hinge body it is aggregate of hemoglobin next is cystocytes cystocytes are fragmented rvc that means helmet shaped cell in the circulation this is mostly seen in microangiopathic hemolytic anemia DIC HUS mechanical mechanical condition is prosthetic valve is used and help syndrome here the count for the cystocytes normal value will be less than 0.5 percent and in case of TTP it is more than 1 percent and in case of DIC it will be less than 1 percent. The cystocytes already told that it is the fragmented RBC and make it the helmet shaped structure and already so that it is helmet like structure which are fragmented in the nature and also in that figure you can see that when the rbc 
get fragmented it form cystocytes or like is cut cell here rbc is cut down and this cut down rbc are known as bite cell next to that is the target cell the target cell also called called as leptocytes mexican hat cell or sombrero cell and codocytes these are name of the target cell in the target cell there is central dark here in the image you can easily see that the central dark area and which are for hemoglobinized hemoglobinized area that are surrounded by a white white type ring and followed by a dark second ring of hemoglobin and this is the image of the target cell this is the image of target cell and cause of the target cell is the liver disease liver disease that means lecithin cholesterol acyl transferases that are decreased in the disease condition and iron deficiency anemia alpha and beta thalassemia post splenectomy and hemoglobin c disease next is the spherocytes spherocytes the name already told spherocytes that means rbc lost their central pallor and appear spherical in nature the cause for the spherocytosis is the hereditary spherocytosis autoimmune hemolytic anemia which are warm and cold both type and in case of drowning iv fluid hypophosphatemia and bartonellosis that means infection of the bartonella and skin bite and also in burn cases the peripheral blood smear found spherocytes the image showing you the spherocytes are spherical in nature and loss of central pallor all image showing you spherocytes next to that is the tear drop cell or dacryocytes the tear drop cells is a type of poikilocytes and tear drop like or pear sapped rbc indicates mechanical stress on rbc during release of rbc from the bone marrow or spleen the cause for such condition is primary myelofibrosis mds leukemia myelopathies beta thalassemia here the word is that the mechanical stress on the rbc during release due to mechanical stress it becomes tear drop like structure here this is the image of tear drop and here you can see the image this is the spherocytes the all images are important for you so revise it and watch till last so that you can't miss the one or two questions 
नेक्स्ट इज द इकाइनोसाइट्स और बर्थ सेल इट इज स्मूथ अंडुलेशन द वर्ड इज यूज स्मूथ अंडुलेशन और थॉर्नी प्रोजेक्शन ऑन द आरबीसी सरफेस सरकम फ्रेंसली विथ सेंट्रल पेलर एंड इट इज रिवर्सिबल कंडीशन दैट मीन्स द कंडीशन विच काउस इकाइनोसाइट्स इफ द काउस आर रिमूव्ड देन इकाइनोसाइट्स बिकम्स नॉर्मल आर बी सी सो हियर द काउस ऑफ द इकाइनोसाइट्स और बर्सेल इज यूरेमिया क्रॉनिक किडनी डिजीज सीरोसिस पैरवेट काइनेस डिफिशेंसी हाइपोफोस्पोटेमिया एंड विटामिन ई डिफिशेंसी हियर द इमेज सोइंग यू दैट द दिस स्ट्रक्चर हियर द सेंट्रल पेलर आर प्रजेंट वाइल दैट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्शन इन द पेरीफेरी विच आर स्मूथ अंडुलेशन and here the smooth undulation is present in echinocytes while that of it is sharp and multiple in case of the acanthocytes the next is spur cell or acanthocytes here the large erythrocytes covered with spike like projection that are vary in the width length and distribution these are seen in a beta lipoproteinemia liver disease maclord syndrome and hypothyroidism here the large erythrocytes here the large erythrocytes the spiky projection are present but you can see that here the central pillar are absent this is the differentiating feature from the bursel and spursel here the image showing you that the, here some part are lost of the rbc this is called as bite cell for your revision the polychromasia the image of the polychromasia are such the basophilic stippling are like granulation pappenheimer's bodies are like that target cell or codocytes are like that double ring structure hinge body are here how will jolly body that case cystocytes the fragmented and helmet like structure spherocytes are spherical lack of central pillar tear drop like a drop and bursel are the projection of periphery and spursel or acanthocytes like that and bite cell or dagmasite is here thanks for watching my video have a nice day friends write any things regarding my video in my comments box are you liking or dislike thanks again for watching my video